the chambers of sexual sins, damned for prostitution, welcome beloved, I was visiting the chamber of sexual sin, where there was many department, then we moved to a place that looked like a colon of fire, where demons were throwing people, it was like a bed of fire where people were burning, for they were in prostitution in their lives, they are laid on this concrete of fire because they used to lay on the bed of prostitution, this was their torment, they would lay on this concrete of fire, as we were there, I heard a young lady saying Lord my mother and father were pastor, please get me out of here, immediately we moved towards the lady, and the Lord asked her, my daughter, is this place really the portion you have chosen over me, she replied, Lord, I wish I had listened to my parent, my father and mother talked to me and warned me about hell, I was hearing about this place from my parent all the time, I was not ignorant about it, but I did not expect this place to be so horrible, I failed to listen to my parent when she warned me, I was influenced by my friend in university, and we used to go out to prostitute ourselves and sleep with men, we were sleeping with our teacher in university to get marks and to pass, and we were going to bars and night clubs to sleep with men for money, through prostitution I dishonored my parent who were respected in our city it was shame, they used to say to me, daughter, with your lifestyle of sin that you lead in university, if you continue to harden your heart refusing to repent, you are running a grave danger, for there is a place called hell, a place of torment, but I ignored their warning, I could not understand the gravity of this place, and I continue with my lifestyle of prostitution, one day I went out to bars and night clubs with a man to have fun, it was when we were coming back to university that we had an accident and I fell here, the Lord looked at this lady and cried, the Lord said, my daughter, you had time and opportunity to repent in the land, but why have you squander your life and opportunity, now look at where you have fallen, it is too late, in this place I saw a world celebrity that were living in prostitution, and I saw people of all races and all nation, I saw many popes of ancient times in this place and I was stunned, they were cast on this bed of fire and they were in torment, I said Lord popes are being tormented in this place, the Lord said they have an appearance of piety but denying its power, the Lord said these priests are a bunch of hypocrite, many of them pretend that they have no children but they have children, and their girlfriend are sisters of covenant, they said to themselves and to sisters in the covenant, if we sleep with sisters of covenant it's not an issue for we are saint and they are also saint, it's between us. The popes that I saw here were from century ago before I was born, they all slept with sisters of government and they had children for they consider that sisters were saint like them, they pretended to live in holiness yet they slept with sisters, they gave these sisters money and they had children with them, this was prostitution, in this place I saw pastors and these pastor were severely tortures, demons put something that looked like bible on their chest it was not a real bible but metal bible heated in high temperature that they pressed on their chest, demons told these leaders who came here because of immorality, you knew the bible very well, show us your knowledge, this concrete of fire was a bed of prostitution, I could not see its beginning and its end, and they were countless souls that were trapped in this concrete of fire, we finally flew over the concrete of fire, then I saw a river of lava and beneath the river of lava I saw countless souls that were held captives in chains they were down beneath the river of lava, souls in hell for pornography. But above the river of fire I saw TV set, phone, tablet and all kind of electronic apparatus, the Lord said these souls were attached to pornographic movies, they were watching pornography in TV, phone, tablet and all these electronic devices which were shouting justice above the river, these apparatus were condemning them, maybe these phones that they were using have broke down, but in hell it will shout justice, for they are the one who have stained these devices, I saw TV and phones floating and reclaiming justice, the more these apparatus were reclaiming justice the more these huge chains were bind these souls that were damned, I saw that this chain was rising higher to the surface, the Lord said these chains were rising to earth, when those who watch pornography die in their sin this chain would bind them on the neck pulling them beneath the sea of lava, brother I always feel pain when people in funeral say to their loved one rest in peace, for many are not going to the place of peace and rest, 
when the rich men die the Bible say his soul went to the place of torment and the majority of the deads are going to the place of torment, but people keep saying may your soul rest in peace, I saw people confessing and demanding mercy in the place of torment, but it was too late for them, they were millions of souls in the lava and in chain because of pornography, they were stuck in the depth of lava they could not even float above the sea, they were deep down and we descended. I saw that these chain were bigger than human. These chain were tightening, souls in hell for lesbianism and homosexuality. I saw a place that was a huge pit and inside that pit they were people, and they were in the flames. They were like dizzy running in all directions seeking escape from the fire and they were crying. I saw that these people were holding their private part. Actually I saw that snakes were coming out of their private part. These snakes were moving all over their body entering their eyes moving to the belly and coming out in their sexual part, I saw all kind of demons above the pit and they were mocking and laughing at these lost souls, Jesus said these are women who had sex with women they are lesbian, these men here are the ones that were in sodomy and homosexuality, their finger and sex were replaced with snakes. Among these people I saw a national politician this politician was entering in homosexual relationship with men that were working in his cabinet, in order to work in his government department you must accept to sleep with him, I saw that his genital organ has turned to a snake that was biting him, I saw another politician who was killed by the president, he was an opponent and he was hanged and executed because he opposed the dictatorial regime of the late president Mobutu but he was also in homosexuality when he died in that political execution, to my surprise brother I saw the former president Mobauta himself in this place of lesbian and homosexual, our late president Mobauta was a man who behaved like a king in the country, this man caused chaos in the country, he liked glory and authority because he thought he was God, I saw that the former president was tormented by men who were here. These men said to him, you are the one who brought us here and we are lost because of you, I saw that these men were biting the late president in his genital part, accusing him of being the cause of their torment, I said, Lord even our president is in this place of homosexual and lesbian, the Lord said this was the lifestyle he chose when he was on the earth, he was sleeping with women and man. All the men he slept with were here they were assembled before him and they were accusing him and they were biting his private part, I saw that in hell there was what is called time of entertainment, brother, if you had killed a man and caused a woman to fall in hell, you will be brought to the place of entertainment so that the people you brought to hell can torture you, anyone who came to hell because you will torture you in hell because you are the reason for which he fell in hell, damned souls in hell for abortion and condom. Then we left the place of lesbian and homosexual, as we were moving I saw a huge pit with countless baby, they were crying and saying mommy why did you stop my life why did you not allow me to live, oh lord may justice be done, I saw that there was no fire here, I was stunned to see so many babies in hell this is really horrendous, the lord said these are aborted children when their parent die they will receive their redemption, I said lord but there are country that authorize abortion. The Lord said the devil know that it would not be easy to convince the majority to accept abortion, that is why he has entered the political system to make it a law and they legalize sin that is supposed to lead people to hell, then I saw a woman who was burning in the fire, she said Lord have mercy get me out of here, she said to Jesus, my husband was working in a good place, then he lost his job and we began to suffer poverty, one day he said to me, darling, since we are in financial difficulty we should not have more children, we have to prevent unwanted pregnancy for we will not be able to finance their study, not long after that decision I got pregnant by accident, and he got angry, he forced me to abort the pregnancy, I went on to abort and everything went well, however many months later I got pregnant again for the second time, and I aborted, it is when I got pregnant for the fourth time that I got into trouble and I died during abortion process, I died because of his decision for he forced me, he is left in the world with the children but I am dead, and I am suffering because of his decision, the Lord said no one is responsible for someone else action, the Lord said who are these babies that are tormenting you, she said these are the four babies I aborted in the world, I saw that all these women that have aborted their womb were rotting, when I was watching them, 
I saw above us huge condom with sperm that were rotten, and have become acid, and inside these condom were men who were using condom to prevent pregnancy, they were killing children because of condom, and they were burned by this acid inside the condom that was shouting justice, then I saw a man in inside this condom, he had agreed with his wife to leave a space of two years between children, and he was using condom in order to avoid unwanted pregnancy. He felt a hell because he wasted his sperm by using condom since he did not know how to calculate menstrual period and time. This chamber of hell was massive and they were those who had sex before marriage, those who had sex in the dream, those who had sex in their mind and thought, those who had sex with their eyes and those who were in prostitution, they were those who aborted. I saw those who fell in this chamber because they were using condom to prevent pregnancy. Then the Lord said it is almost dawn on the earth. We have to leave this chamber, as we were leaving these chambers of sexual sins, I saw a man that was dragged inside this chamber by demon, he kept saying release me leave me alone, I saw that his genital organ was disproportionate and it was rotting and there were worms coming out, I said Lord what is wrong with this man, the Lord said he is in the habit of introducing his finger in the genital organ of little girls and this is his punishment. Then we left the chamber of sexual sin and when I woke up I saw that it was 7 a.m.